Hello and welcome back. I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. I'm really excited today because what we're going to talk about is the importance of using good quality water. It really is the basis or the building foundation of your hydroponic system. I don't care which method you're using to grow. It is the foundation. You've got to use good quality water. So today we're going to get that point across. Of course, we're big on using visuals. So today we're going to start with distilled water. We're going to go ahead and draw some distilled water, and we're going to check our pH. We're going to start by checking our pH and show you the difference between the three different waters that we've chosen. So we're going to add our pH test, get a visual on that, and it's 7.0, it's neutral, okay? So we're done there, and we're going to write that down, 7.0 on our pH. Next, we're going to go ahead and check our tap water. Now, this is going to be tap water directly out of your kitchen sink, right out of the house. And this is going to vary drastically all over the country. So we're going to check the pH on that. And if you notice, here in Las Vegas, Nevada, our tap water is just absolutely terrible on pH. It's well over 8.5. So we're going to go ahead and write that down, 8.5. And we're going to give that an 8.5 plus because it was actually a little over 8.5. All right, now we're going to go ahead and check our bottled water. And you can buy this at any grocery store. Most people at home, they drink bottled water or they buy it out somewhere. And it doesn't matter what brand, they're all going to be fairly close. And we're going to check the pH on that. And our pH on our bottled water is right about 8%. So we're at 8.0 on that. A little bit better than the uh, tap water here in Vegas anyways. Your tap water may be much better. Now we're going to talk about TDS. And what TDS is, total dissolved solids. Now that we know our starting point and which water are we going to choose, I would use either distilled water or a water that's run through a filter system. It's going to pull all the chlorine and the contaminants out of the water. But let's go ahead and check our TDS for total dissolved solids. And we're simply using a TDS-3 today. And we actually sell these on the website. They don't break the bank. They're less than $40. And trust me, this little bugger is worth its weight in gold. And I'm going to show you how to use it today. We simply remove the cap hit the on button, and we just take and swirl it around in our water. And what this is going to do is check the total dissolved solids inside your water, meaning any kind of solids that are in the water, it's going to pick up. So here it's zero, okay, because it is distilled water. There's nothing in it. There's no purer water than distilled water. It goes through a distilling system, okay? It's steam, it rises to the top, it goes through evaporating coils, it drips pure water out the bottom. Now let's go ahead and check our next water, which is going to be our tap water. And here in Las Vegas, Nevada, I'm telling you, it's not very good. Hit the hold button, and we're up over 430. So let's write down 430 on the distilled water, or the uh, tap water. Okay, zero, zero on our distilled water. And let's go ahead and check out our bottled water. Just throw that around. Give it a good eight to 10 seconds. Make sure the meter stabilizes. Hit your hold button. And we're about 69, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, and let me go ahead and post these for you, so you can see. 7.0 on pH, 8.5 plus on our tap water, 8.0 on our bottled water. The point we're trying to get across here is you want to start with good quality water, okay? If you can't afford to purchase a reverse osmosis type system, which by the way, besides distilled water, is your best bet. If you cannot afford to purchase one of those, 
at least try and use distilled water or bottled water is definitely going to work better than tap water in most places in the country. Here in Las Vegas, Nevada, there is no way I can use tap water. I either have to use distilled water or I have to use a reverse osmosis system. This is the building block or the foundation of all hydroponic systems. It is extremely important that you actually use a good quality water. Look for our next video on how to add the nutrients and how to adjust the nutrients by using these different waters. We're going to stay with distilled, or we're going to stay with bottled, or we're going to stay with using a reverse osmosis system. We're that that it's that's I can't stress enough. You have got to start your system with a good quality water. Make sure the pH is tested properly. Make sure your TDS. And if you can, please buy a TDS meter. They are worth their weight in gold. It only takes a few seconds on checking how much total dissolved solids are in your water and you're ready to grow. Again, thank you very much. I'm Wayne with Modular Hydro. Don't forget to visit our website, modularhydro.com, on how-to and very informative videos like this. Again, thank you.